When I was in Cuba, I was up in the Escambre, which is like the Appalachia of Cuba, very rugged mountain, poor people, very poor if they were. And I said to the campesino, I said, do you like Fidel? And he said, si, sí, si, sí, with all our soul. Just, I remember his gesture, with all our soul. I said, why? And he pointed to this clinic right up there on the hill, which he, we had visited. I said, look at that. He said, before the revolution, we never saw a doctor. If someone was seriously ill, it would take 20 people to carry that person. Because you'd go day and night. It would take two days to get to the hospital. First, because it was far away. And second, because you couldn't go straight. You couldn't cross the Latifundio land. The boss would kill you. And often when we got to the hospital, the person might be dead by the time we got there. Now we have this clinic up here with a full-time doctor. And today a doctor in Cuba, when you become a doctor, you've got to spend two years out in the country. That's your dedication to the people. And a dentist who comes one day a week. And for more serious things, we're not more than 20 minutes away from a larger hospital. That's in the Escom Bride. So that's freedom. We're free and today we have more life. And I talked to a guy in Havana who says to me, before all I used to see here in Havana, you call this drab and dull, we see it as a cleaner city. It's true, you got out, the paint is peeling off the walls, but you don't see kids begging in the streets anymore. And today this man is going to night school. He said, I can read. I can read. Do you know what it means to be able to read? Do you know what it means to be able not to read? That's what illiteracy is about. That's what the joy of literacy programs is. They were animals before. They weren't allowed to read. They weren't taught to read. And there, that's why I support revolution. The revolution that feeds the children gets my support. And the Reaganite government that tries to stop that kind of process, that tries to keep those people in poverty and illiteracy and hunger, that gets my undiluted animosity and opposition. Que no se puede confiar en el imperialismo, pero ni tantico nada.